Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming, you're bringing another uh, Mortal Kombat video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the basics of the crypt. I'm going to be telling you what you guys need to know, um, everything about the keys, the heads, the stat, well, kind of the statues, um, the fountains, and everything like that. So first off, the chest. So whenever you go and open a chest, I don't think I have any that are closed in here, but whenever you go and open a chest, it will cost anywhere from i be believe um the lowest is 1000 and then the highest i believe is 90 to 100,000 um the chest come in actual like golden chest uh treasure chest type things to uh little boxes that you just rip the hood off and uh i guess vases where you can get gold from which you just smash in order to refill the chests and vases, what you have to do is you have to re replace uh, the chests and everything from Chronica's Time Vault, which you need the, um, if I can find it here, um, shoot, my controller is messing up, um, it should be, Right here, Chronica's uh, amulet, which you use in order to restore that. Just did me to do that. Um, which is also one of the many different keys in the um, crypt. So, one of the keys is, if we go back in here, the hammer, which I have on my back. Which, as you saw, you used to smash stuff. You used to smash vases, walls, and stuff like that. Uh, you get it from right here. You just walk right out. As soon as you spawn, it'll be there. And you use it to break open this wall. You can also use it to break um, different uh, different vases. Um, you can use Kinchi's blindfold, which we'll uh, might get to later. It's another key, um, and you can use it uh, to do, uh, break different random stuff, as well as kill things like demons and break. Oh, well, I mean break everything basically, except for certain, except for chests and stuff. Um, you also have different things like scorpions, um, scorpions spear, uh, which you can use to get the fire, um, some of the fire lanterns hanging from above, different chests, um, as well as to rip down the bodies that you just saw to get, uh, hearts, uh, which are a currency in the crypt, which you get from doing fatalities, brutalities, and then also mercies. Um, you also use coins, of course, and souls in the crypt. Um, mostly, I saw that you use souls when you get uh, Ermac's amulet, which you can use to... Okay, I don't have any up here. Which you can use to restore this bridge, as well as open different um, soul... I guess soul chests, technically, I don't know. As well as um, lift objects. So, as you see here, that ch that uh, chest is 250 hearts. Um... Which is a lot, but if you play um, a decent amount, is still I guess it's it's still a lot, but it is easier to get. Um, you also have different places that you can open with the different keys. You can open this door with the key. You can open. Um, that's from the serpent amulet. Um, you can open. You can open um, Goro's lair over there. Uh, you can rebuild the uh the raiden statue which i'll get to in a second and uh stuff like that next up is the shrine so with the shrine you can put anywhere from 1000 to 100,000 coins 1000 you get a little stuff i think you get consumables and you might get a um augment every once in a while but if you go up to 100,000 skins you can get a bunch of different stuff um you can get skins you can get um cosmetic items that aren't skins they're just uh different things i got a frost skin because of course i did um and you can get different things like that um that's also where you can get chronica's amulet but i wouldn't recommend getting it from there i would recommend katana skin okay cool i recommend whenever you do go to the shrine once you start leaving a meteor will crash down through here and it will hit where is he It'll hit Raiden, I went right past him, and it'll land right here where you see this rubble. Once it lands here, you can break it with the, um, you 
can break it with the hammer, X on Xbox or Square on PlayStation, and then eventually you will get the Earthrealm Protector Amulet, which you can put in Raiden to rebuild him. Next up is the heads. The heads, I'll show you here, you need to get 25 fatalities on every single, um, every single person, so you have to fatality, um, one person 25 times so for example i did it to cetrion and then you open the box down below and you get cosmetics calling cards um and with the example of cetrion you get her amulet which is another key item um going into goro's lair when you open goro's lair there are a bunch of different things this is where you'll find the spear you'll find kenshi's blindfold and you will also find um, one other thing that I don't remember. Um, I don't know what that is. Okay. So you're going to go into this um, little cave. You're going to go into this elevator. You're going to click or you're going to uh, click A. Or if you're on play, PlayStation, again, X. Um, I'm just going to say Xbox buttons from now on. If you're on PlayStation, um, you'll probably know the correspondence to the Xbox buttons. So this door is going to open, then we're going to go in here, there's a bunch of chests and stuff on the way, as well as on the way out. Scarlet, okay. Um, you can also get uh, consumables, which I believe I said, but you can also get augments. Um, here is one area um, where you can get a bunch of chests, and you can also get... Um, well, you can't really get anything but a bunch of chests from here. But you can also restock the um, boxes. And then these, uh, I wasn't really going to talk about these unless I saw one. But these are Chronica uh, Spear things. Um, they're basically just chests. If you open it, you will get um, this little cinematic. Or not cinematic. Um, this little um, animation. Sorry, and then you'll get a bunch of this stuff. Um, I got a Sub-Zero skin, which is pretty good. Uh, I think, or no, I don't think, but Sub-Zero is my main, so that is pretty good. Um, this is also where you can get another key item. You come in here, and then you run through it. You have to time it, and then it's over here, and this chest will cost 80000 and you will get the Blaze of Heart, which you can use um, for a little statue that you can lift up. And then you can also go, let's see, which way is it? I don't remember which way it is. Okay, it's this way. You can go into here, and then if you go into, can I open this? I don't really want that though. You can go into here, then you can come over here, through here into here and to go right I think no not a right okay and then we're in the armory and then once you're in the armory um, it's not here for me but it will be right here for you it'll be scorpion spear which I talked about earlier um, which you can again use to do a bunch of different stuff which I talked about uh, earlier uh, pulling down bodies for hearts, um, using the um, flaming torches in order to get certain scorpion chests, and whenever you get it, the door will lock, and it'll show you exactly that, a torch above it that you can pull down, and then you can also come into the dining hall, and then you go over here, you go up the stairs, and then you go up the next flight of stairs, Um, or you don't go up this flight, but you go up the other one, and then there will be, um, this chain here, you come into here, over here, and then you pull this lever, and you go down the elevator, or up the elevator, I mean, sorry, door will open over here. There's a chest over here on your left if you want to get it. Um, and then you get Essence of Frost. Or you probably won't get it, but I did. Um, you go through here. You go out here. There will be a little uh, cutscene. 
and then Ermax Amulet will be here somewhere, and it'll be, um, it'll have, um, green coming off of it, and then the, and then some rubble will fall, and you'll have to use Ermax Amulet in order to lift the rubble, that way you can, can come back out, and then you can go back down, and then there's also Kenshi's Blindfold, um, which I don't remember exactly where it's at, um, but those are the two main things that you want to get from Goro's Lair. Kinshi's uh, Blindfold is also one of the main things that you need because you can use it to kill the different uh, demons, I guess, in this um, in the crypt. And then you can also use it to uh, break open different walls, find like spirit chests, and do different cool stuff like that. Um, but I don't remember exactly where it's at. hearts from that. That guy had two hearts. Nice. Oh, let's go back here really quick. These are the types of chests that you can use uh, Scorpion Spear to get. There will be a flying uh, torch somewhere that you can click Y or triangle on PlayStation um, but Y. And you can pull down a little fire thing and then it'll open it up. Um, that's the armor over there. No, oh, this is the armory. So let's go back over here. Again, the armory is where you're going to get the spear. And then I believe it's over here. Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, there's uh, Kenshi, and then you can take his blindfold off of him. You'll hear the story whenever you actually get to this room. There will be a cutscene. Um, and that's really it for Goro's Lair, and there's a bunch of stuff in here. A bunch of chests and stuff. Um, but that's really it for this part. Uh, if you want me to do another part of the crypt, uh, tell me down in the description below. Um, I'll go ahead and go over the basic skin. You can get keys, which you can use to open a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of different doors, and get more loot. Uh, you can open chests, spirit chests, and stuff like that um, in order to um, get more, get the actual loot. Um, after you open the doors like that, you um, just have access to the loot. You don't actually get all the loot from opening it. There's also these spirit things which you can use Ermax Amulet on to open. Um, you can use Kinchi's Blindfold here. I'll show you here. When you click, click B, um, I don't know if I'll actually find anything um, good that's worth it here. But basically you can get spirit chests. You can find different demons and stuff like that. Um, and you can break open different walls that you wouldn't usually be able to break open. Um, I don't think I'll find anything while I'm running here. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay. But, um... There's also the Raiden statue and different stuff like that. Um, if you want to find all that, I can do a tutorial on that. I'm not sure if I will. Tell me down in the description if you want me to. Um, but other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.